chilling. I'm retired. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> as soon as the game starts, just click that one. Okay. All right. Learning something new every day and learn how to run this stream. All right, we got we got Wolf, we got Bowser. Let's get into it. You know, I'm really glad that we have a Wolf from Moxie's cali uh, caliber now. You know, we really don't have great, or we didn't have great practice, especially when we go out of state and we just kind of get like run over by any other Wolf that has, you know, experience against our characters. And uh, at the same time, you know, Moxie gets a lot of good experience against Roy, Bowser, Captain Falcon, you know, characters that you really only find in Georgia anyways. So. Maybe not Bowser. There, there's some pretty important Bowsers, right? And Sagana, you know, for a long time was just like on the rise, like always on the come up, but just never really seemed to, you know, get to that really high level consistently. And that's a problem that a lot of our players face is consistency. Uh, but I'd really love to see Sakana just, you know, kind of glow up. You know, really have faith in the Bowser, even though there's almost no reason to, you know, play a heavy in this meta. But sometimes you just gotta, right? Gotta stick with what you know. And Moxie, on the other hand, uh, I believe she was formerly a Pokemon trainer. And then I think she might still have a Pokemon trainer. I feel like I've seen that before, but, you know, it's always good to have a character like that in your... Uh, in your arsenal, you know, because you really do, you really get like four total characters, right? You got all the Pokemon trainers, and then you got Wolf. All right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, Hero Hero's a great player. You know? Never seen Hero in America though. And that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for these really good Japanese players to come to America and really just show us up. I need to see it. Yoshidora, Hero, there's a Bowser Jr. named Utama. Man, really good player, but just literally cannot leave the country. Sucks. But these two players, they are in the country, and they are uh, they're, they're playing they're playing some good Smash Brothers right now. 188 right now on uh, uh, on Sakana, but it really just does not matter, you know. Just playing. Oh, poor throw. Might have been a miss, but still living from that dash tag. Battlefield is a large stage, ladies and gentlemen, and getting a little bit smaller uh, whenever Bowser gets that side B. You know, you really just have so much room to work with uh, in terms of those platforms, just being able to uh, be able to just maneuver your way up there and uh, close out a stock yeah, while Moxie does the same, uh, just in a, in a different way, I guess. Okay, going for the Nairs, trying to get the platform reset, but a good roll away from Moxie. And here we go. Big combo. Not quite getting it. Had the platform touch chase, but just a little too early on the uh, on the upper. Oh, wait a minute. Moxie cooking. Will she be able to close? Not quite. And going through the platform as well. Great stuff right there from Sakana. Really close to being able to take it, but Moxie playing the, uh, the mid-range game, going for the forward smash, but man, a forward smash return in favor, honestly, because that back air, it'd be hitting like a forward smash. Whoa. Okay, good DI right there. And having a lot of time to do it, too. Getting that, uh, you know, that flash screen or whatever. Okay, back air. Woo. That was a close one. Oh, true. Moxie did have a crazy run with Genesis. Beating, uh, beating Mars and... Uh, who was the other player? Mars and somebody. Chag, yeah. Great wins. Yeah, I mean, Mars got nine, you know, eventually. And, uh, you know, being able to send them to losers, you know, that's huge. That Georgia level up, you know what I'm saying? Got so much talent here. Just wish they'd all show up, you know? Like, imagine imagine if all of Georgia's, like, good talent showed up to one tournament. Like, that show would be crazy. Including, like, Wrath. And those are the good days. All right. 
Oh, forcing the issue right there was Sakana. Actually crossing up shield. I, I didn't really know that that check could do that, but you know, I guess when a move does that shit. Yeah, Rath, Rath is not retired. Uh, you know, you can catch him in the uh, the Ryuga court farming people, apparently. Chronically playing wide left. That's a perfect descriptor. Great first shot right there from Moxie being able to close that out. Uh, and, you know, Wolf against Bowser, like, I feel like any space... Oh, okay, I shouldn't say that. Falco kind of kind of ruins heavies, but Wolf specifically against heavies, it's a tough time. While you have a projectile, like, I don't know. It's just not an easy time for you. Yo, rather the big tourney? That's what we like to see. But rather that Maji? Uh, unfortunate. It's all good, though. Gives, gives Vivid another chance to defend his honor, defend his title. While Moxie takes yet another stock. Playing very uh, very composed against Bowser. A lot of players against uh, Sakana will, you know. Oh my god. Yeah, what I was saying was, like, play, play really panicked, right? Because it's Bowser. You, know? you don't want to get touched by Bowser, and when you do, it's just not a fun time. But, you know, Moxie. Definitely composed. You know, being up, uh, being up a game, that helps. There's not a lot of pressure to lose this game, you know. But it's still definitely Moxie's to lose. Ooh, getting stuck on the platform right there. Definitely want to punish that Aaron up B, but it's kind of getting away scot-free. Now 132, this is a lot of rage to play with. Let's see if he can turn it into anything. Air once again closing it out. Good effort from Sakana, but Moxie looking too strong right there with the, with the pretty solid 2 0. 